After weeks of memorization and hours of rehearsal, I'm proud to present FMT's 2014 Junior High Drama Production. From the dedication I've been privy to witness, you would not be able to recognize these same students, peers, and friends of yours you're about to witness. Dramatic productions such as these take enormous amounts of cooperation between our actors, actress, actresses, and exquisite props backstage and tech teams. Special thanks to our student teacher, Ms. Petru, 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 uh, for offering her time and assistance on this production. You might want to get your autographs for all those actors and actresses because you never know if you might see them in the upcoming Oscars. Productions also need the audience to laugh and applaud when necessary, but most importantly, stay respectful and silent. Right, audience? I'd like you to take a moment and use your imaginations. Imagine, if you will, the beautiful and majestic Rocky Mountains, where esteemed actors, dentists, criminals, artists, and quirky detectives make over the cold, mysterious dead of winter. Please put your hands together and help me introduce our comical mystery production. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, what's it? Miss Celluloid discovered the body? 
Just as you see him. Was this Cy rated a close friend of yours? A very patient, ever all my guests, Mr. Holmes. What do you think, Watson? I think we'd best get him to the cooler fast. Well, quite right, old bean. Have a little place where Mrs. Brady will keep. Vegetable bin is a bit small, but perhaps there's room in the walk-in cooler. I'll have our help find room. Very well, the twelve question again. Ah, uh, what's up, Doc? We just practiced the time knots. Looky here. Good heavens, a noose. You have city speaker. There's thirteen knots for luck. Text. Buck Lee, this is Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson, his associate. The Sherlock Holmes? Oh, shucks. Yes, Tex. How many other mothers around here you think are going to name their kid Sherlock? Mr. Holmes here is going to help solve Mr. Rayton's untimely demise. Ah, and I hope he catches killer, too. For now, we'd like the body moved to the cooler. But, Doc, we don't have any room in the cooler with all the rhubarb. Fine room. Man, you're meaner than a promable with a sticker on his hook. I seem to recall your next until examination is coming up. No, no, not that. Come on, Tex. Let's just get him out
You leave at your own risk, Mr. Eager. Besides, Holmes wants to speak with everyone this morning. I'm not baiting to you or anyone else, you sniveling, immature brat. Going for a spin, Mr. Eager. You're not expected to get to. But I say, the bridge is out. Come on, come on. You are the dead. Everyone. 
No, I did not. And look at me today, Holmes. I don't listen. This toy the goblin, you should have listened. Is he? Like a door frame. That door nail wasn't dead as a door nail. Oh dear, and I'm Sherlock Holmes, and this is my subject, Dr. Watson. This is Miss Purdy and her daughter, Jill. The genius, I'm 228. Don't look much over 10. That's my IQ, you ignoramus. That's what he meant. Holmes and Watson arrived late, but... How truly? He missed the first murder, you know. But not the second, the third. The second? Third? Mr. McMuffin was poisoned after eating a mini Mac. That's not murder. That's and poor Mr. Eager drove his car to the mountain. Doc, honey, how long do you want me to hold this cadaver? Is there any room for him in the cooler? Yeah, it's pretty crowded in there. Uh, Jemima, Buckwheat and I'll help you tuck him in.
surprised the way you treat her. She didn't leave because she wanted to. You mean she was kidnapped? Yes. How do you know? The mask figure was hiding in our room, right behind the curtain. As soon as she went near the window, she grabbed her and stepped outside. Who was that masked man? Elementary world's a lone stranger. Come on, we'll track him in the snow. And what am I supposed to do without my name? Very oh, sure. Surrender. You can't trust a foreigner. 
Holmes. What's in? Thank you, Mr. Holmes. I, I nearly froze inside. It was so cold. You don't have any sympathy for a murderer or fix it. But I did not kill Bobby Eager. I hated him, but I don't kill him. I fix it. I don't break breaks. Uh, I know that. You do. He does. You do. Shut your traps, Watson. You're catching flies. But he was seen in the garage. It doesn't mean he cut the brake line. No, our killer's more cunning than this fool. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. But, Dr. Fixit, you can help flush him out. He's in the toilet. Back in humor has no place in this serious murder investigation. Why, any moment the killer may strike again. <coughs> oh, good heavens. Mr. Holmes is horrible. What happened, Mr. Mother? I was working on some sketches because I couldn't fall asleep. And I looked up at the uh, uh, window above my desk in my room, and there, there, there were two horrible. What in heaven's name did you see? A figure wearing a ski mask. Near a slope, sir, 200 miles from here. What was so horrible about this figure? Really, Mr. Holmes, a red ski mask with a fuchsia scarf? It clashed terribly. What's it in go check? How come I always get the dangerous jobs? You got the gun, haven't you? Why do you always have to be so damn undermogical? Why, Dr. Fixit, if you killed Mr. Eager, then it was you in my room. Where did you have that mask? Oh, I don't ski, and I hate how Besides, Dr. Fixit was here with us when you were visited. You mean he didn't kill Mr. Eager? No, but he knows who did. I do? How? How do I know this, Mr. Holmes? You were in the garage earlier, remember? Yeah. And you say the killer came in? Hid and watched as the brick line was cut. Why didn't you stop Mr. Eager? Why didn't I, Mr. Holmes? Because the killer watched Mr. Eager drive away. Then you do know who killed Bobby Eager. Yes, and why he was killed from his two brother. You must not say a word of this to anyone. Oh, I won't say a word, not a single syllable. Claudia, Claudia! Oh, she's gonna tell everybody in the house. Why did you make up that story? I saw no one in the room. Very true, but Dr. Vincent, we just made a trap. Oh, goody, I love traps. But we now indulge the kid over here about your evidence and come around to kill you and keep your mouth shut. Wait, back up. I said to keep your mouth shut. Before that. Kill you? That's the part I don't play. But Dr. Vincent wants a trap without the bait. Me and my big mouth. No sign from anywhere Brother. Thanks for stealing side from me, Claudia baby. I'll make you both pay. Incredibly incriminating. I wonder. Dr. Fixit, I'd like you to spend the night down here. Here? This couch is comfortable. But there are no locks on any of the doors. Come to think of it, there aren't any doors. Oh, don't worry, I'll be right here hiding. Good night, Watson. Good night, Holmes. I'm bushed. Big day and all that. Um, don't let the dead dogs bite. And Dr. Fixit? It's been nice knowing you. Can I at least go along and get something? What kind of things? You know, things. Be quick. You don't want the killer to miss his chance. I've been expecting you. Come to look, chat. This way? Excellent. Sorry, old chap. 
how to send you to reform school in grade. What is going on here? I need mean, like, why? It's really good. Really? Yeah, it's only dawn. What is the meaning of this? Simple. I saw the gas in the here by husband man. Uh, I'm sure it doesn't belong to us. We'll still be relieved to get this all over with. Oh, mother, you'll be wrong with this. Sherlock Holmes is never wrong with a snapper. Why, right, Watson? Then go ahead. We're all here. I know, I know. It's that nurse. She tried to kill Teddy. Nova? Don't say a word. I'll call her lawyer. I suggest you wait to cavitate. But I saw her. She poked that needle into Teddy. She thought it was me. Watson. Thank you. We brought buns and coffee and the cook. I sure hope that Jacob and Kate I got one on stove. We'll let you get back to your bellies as soon as the truth is revealed. Sorry I'm late, Mr. Holmes. But I've been trying to decide what to wear to an early morning criminal investigation. Is this all right? Sure is she. And would you let me know what rubbish so you shop at? I'm dying with Joey's to find that. I'll give you the address. You need a new look. Ooh. Ladies, may we begin? The first question, of course, is why are we all here at my husband, man? I told you. You are a valued patient. Valued or valuable. Let us assume we are favorite patients. Who then would kill Cy Rainty? There's several possible motives. Claudia said Lloyd was a dear friend of his. He had to have over 40 paid years as a Hollywood star. His fortune was a prize worth having, but to get to him, Claudia snatched Rainty from a certain costume designer. All right, it's true. I lost Cy, but then I lost him. And if I killed anyone, it would have been Claudia. The critics did that years ago. <laughs> Rainty had also offended Mr. McMuffin, but McMuffin himself was killed. Could Claudia Twilight murder him as well? I think not. Neither had any connection with him. But you, Mrs. Purdy, you're not so clean. Yes, that's right. I used to manage the McMuffin franchise. But he fired you for refusing to cut back on French fry servings. He was a beast. Two ounces for 79 cents. It was pure robbery. But Mr. Holmes... No, you didn't kill him, Robert. But perhaps Jewel... Oh, no. Jewel's only 10. All right, Mr. Holmes. You all to know what my business is. To Mr. McMuffin, I Job. We wouldn't listen. He just sat there slobbering his mini mac, laughing at me. All I wanted to do was kill him. Did you? If I did, I wouldn't have gone caught. Very true. But you, Miss Henpenny, you're not so clever, are you? Me? I never knew I'd hear my puppet. As they say in Italy, below me. Yours a strange sister. Cut out of his family when he refused to marry one of the executives of McMuffin Chain. Can I help with you with the mark of the dog on the top? How would you like to wake up to the fuzzy red hair of the morning? So you married Elroy to escape your brother's clutches. Can I help with the arm and listen to people? Oh, God. Don't bother! Then there's the question of Mr. Bobby Eager, who lived fast and died even faster, 98 miles per hour to be exact. Dr. Vixen here was our prime suspect. Right from his suspect, he's become our prime witness. He was in the garage and, in, and he saw the brakes being cut. He revealed the name of the killer to me. So, who is it, Mr. Holmes? The suspense is killing me. Ah, the tooth. Suddenly it hurts. Can I take a look at it? I am a dentist after all. Yes, would you? that you are the only thing we have in common here, Dr. Cavitate. It's this tooth right back there, sharp pain under the surface. Did you all realize that according to Dr. Cavitate's appointment book, we were all his patients on January 16, 15 years ago? Uh, there, Doctor, the molar feels like it was filled with a sharp object, like a diamond, an uncut diamond smuggled into this country 15 years ago. And what better place to hide it than his patient's molars? He's aiming at me, Holmes. So it's Cavitate, behind you. Oh, Clinton, there was you. I suspected as much. That's why you tried to get rid of Dr. Fixit. To cover up for Cavitate. You don't have any evidence. Oh, no. Miss Sayoi, free to Cavitate's pocket. In there, I suspect you'll find your mail file. The very mail file 
values to cut the brake lines on Bobby and Shields and Carl with us. Why would I use a nail file? She can plant it on Claudia's celluloid and make it look like she did it. You're right. I'm always right. right. Alright, I needed the diamonds. I couldn't just ask for them back. So you're saying we all got diamonds from That's right, Mom. You, you're the one, you're the one who kidnapped Priscilla. Who are you, a refugee from the U.S. ski team? Uh, Axel Bryant, FBI. Oh, Mr. Hall! 